The Jordan 11s legend blue, also known as the Columbia 11s, are coming back after 10 years. And this shoe this time will release for a retail price of $230. Yes, $230 will be the retail price of the issue. Inflation is hitting this one as well. But if you want the shoe, I have good news for you. But if you're a high beast that only want exclusive shoes, this news might not be that good for you. So stay here on this video because we're going to talk about the Columbia Jordan 11s, guys. This year, holiday shoe. Take a look at the classic shoe that we're going to talk about on today's video, guys. Yes, like I told you, um, I have good news for you. If you're a real sneakerhead that wants to have a classic pair of shoes like this, this shoe will be super mass produced, which in my opinion is amazing news because that means more chances for us to get a classic shoe like this that, like I said, hasn't released in the last 10 years. And this year, we're going to have the chance to get these shoes back. And that's pretty amazing if you ask me I'm a big fan of Jordan 11 and this one is one of my favorites of all time I think it's the cleanest Jordan 11 ever I mean look at that it's a pure white shoe it doesn't get more clean than these guys Columbia 11s legend blue 11s man amazing and classic shoe that is returning it's coming back finally it's coming back and the fact that we're going to have over a million pairs of these shoe i think is pretty dope because a lot of people like to get jordan 11s in december actually we only get one edition of jordan 11 highs for men's per year which is kind of crazy i mean only one pair per year that's crazy. And yeah, I know like this month, we are about to get a pair of Jordan 11, but that one's gonna be in women's size. Another classic colorway, but with a different twist. And is this one here, the Velvet Bread 11. Looks nice, but the materials on this one are not the original ones, but still a solid shoe. Let me know if you're gonna go for this one. But this will be supposedly for the ladies because this shoe is only releasing in women's size. If you're a guy and you can fit this shoe, you can go for it normally. There's no problem, at least in my opinion. Let me know how you feel about that, guys. But this one right here will be the official pair of Jordan 11, the holiday shoe right here. And I think it's an amazing shoe. So having over a million pairs of these shoe is just dope because that's going to increase the chances for us to get a retail pair of these shoe. Even though retail on this one, retail price on this shoe will be two thirty dollars. I know that's a little spicy, but if you compare the retail with the resale value, I'd rather pay that money to Nike to the resellers. You know I don't like resellers, so two thirty. I know. I would love to pay like 200 or 210 for the issue, but it is what it is, man. We can't do nothing about it. I hope we could do something, but 230 for the issue. Yeah, I'm willing to pay it. I would love to pay less. I'm gonna try to get a discount code or something to get the issue for a little lower price, but I'm definitely going for another pair of the issue because these are that classic. These are that beautiful. And it's not only because it's an OG, because I'm not one of those people who said OG over everything. I'm more like dope shoe over everything. I don't care if that's the OG or not. Thanks God, like a lot of times, most of the times, 90% of the times, the OGs are so damn dope looking. But there's some OGs that I don't really like, you know, I don't really love them. Like a lot of you love the Gammas, and I think the Gamma is a cool looking shoe, but I've seen so many other Jordan 11s better than the Gammas in my opinion. But you want the OGs and the classic. I get that. I get that. And I respect that. I respect that. I actually want the Gamas for my collection too. But it's not a shoe that I feel like is one of the greatest of all time. Actually, I've seen a lot of dopers during the 11s that are not OGs and, or a classic. But two inches on, you know, two inches on. Now, this one is a nice combination of a classic and OG shoe that actually looks super nice and super dope. And another information that I want to give you guys is that don't be surprised. I'm not going to say when, but don't be surprised if you see the shoe shock dropping. I mean, don't be shocked 
when this shoe shock drop because I'm sure it's going to happen very, very soon. This shoe is released in December 14, which means that we're going to see a shock drop prior to the official release of the issue. So if you want it, be on the lookout because I'm very sure, I'm 100% sure we're going to see a shock drop on the issue, just like we have seen with all the previous Jordan 11s in the past. Yes, we're going to have a shock drop on this one as well. I'm very sure about that. I love the way this shoe looks on feet. I'm a big fan of Jordan 11s, I told ya. I wear Jordan 11s all year long. Now, a lot of you only wear Jordan 11s in the winter. I don't know why, I have no problems with the Jordan 11s. I can wear these shoes all year, no problem at all, but ah, to each his own, like I just said. What I what I always try to, to um, advise you when it comes to this shoe is, the sizing on the Jordan 11s. If you can go at least half a size up, just do it. Me personally, I'd rather go a full size up in Jordan 11s because they really fit me tight. I don't know if that's because I have a really wide foot, but I, me personally, I'm doing a full size up in Jordan 11s, like for real, for real, for real. That's the best solution for me because I remember the first time I got the 2020 Jordan 11 bread, I think it was, and I got those shoes on the same size I got my Jordan 1s, and I couldn't even wear those shoes because they were killing me. So a full size up, I hope I had someone to tell me that back in 2020, but now I'm letting you know. I'm doing a full size up, but for you, half a size up, safe option. If you can try a pair of Jordan 11s in stores, um, that way you're going to know which is the best size for you, but don't go through the size of Jordan 11. Don't do that to your pinky toe. Please don't do it, guys. But yeah, this will be this year holiday shoe, the best release of December, in my opinion. Classic shoe. This is probably a top 10 release of the year. Can't go wrong with a classic shoe like this. The Columbia 11 or Legend Blue 11s. Beautiful shoe. Let me know if you're gonna go for these guys. Something else that I love about this shoe is the fact that these shoe don't have mesh on the upper. These shoe have leather. Yeah, not that nice tumble leather that we had last year on the Gratitude 11, which in my opinion is a better shoe than the Conquer 11s. Just my opinion again, but still a really nice shoe, still better than the mesh material on the upper of the shoe, especially on a white shoe like this. You don't want mesh on this area, trust me. Yeah, I don't want that, yeah, I don't want that. Sadly, um, we don't have special packaging for this one. We have the regular box as we can see. Last year, for the Conquer 11s, we did have some type of a special packaging as we can see here. Um, we have these um, black um, on the top of the box with a gold jump in here, a little bit of a gold ring here on the side, then white, and we have thank you here, pretty dope, and then we have these favorites here. This is a hell of a shoe. These shoes look so freaking good. Man, the gratitude to the 11s, man. I would love to have these kind of leather on these shoe, but this is the way it's supposed to look. This is the OG look, but this is something special, guys. Now, um, I just want to know your opinion about it. I know a lot of guys out there will be like, I don't want them anymore because there will be a lot of pairs and everyone is gonna have them and I only want shoes that, you know, make me feel special to have it because I'm a special kid like, <laughs> no, you're not, bro. No, you're not. You're not that special. And a pair of shoes won't make you special. But if you want to pass on these shoes because there will be a ton of pair, Thank you. You will make my life so much easier trying to grab another one of these, but share your opinion with me about these shoes, guys. Are you gonna go for these? Are you gonna pass? Let me know how you feel in the Columbia 11s, guys. The Legend Blue 11s. Let me know how you feel in them. I think they are amazing, but that's just my opinion. It's time for you to share yours with me, guys. If you want to see more of my content, but outside of YouTube, make sure to follow me right here on my Instagram. Jason J Kicks. I'm always uploading videos, picture, sneaker information like shock drop, early access, all the upcoming releases. You're going to know about that first, right here on my Instagram, Jason J Kicks. Thank you again for watching, guys, and until the next one. Ah, man. These are so damn nice and so damn classic. I love these shoes. It is what it is. Goodbye.